Hello everyone and welcome to Road to Us. Now this week we are at, if you can see there on the window, Live Nine Live Customs at my friend Jake's place. And I'm gonna show you some of the really cool cars that he's got here that are being in for restoration. But first off, obviously it wouldn't be my channel if I didn't show you something a little bit rotten. So have a look at this. Now these are quite rare and I love this. That is a lovely old Mazda truck, which is again, from nearby local Southampton it's lived here all its life had one owner now the plan was that he was gonna mod this up and make it into some really cool truck but he's now just taken on the unit next door which he might be in there maybe you'll see him I don't know oh no oh no just Colin <laughs> But he was going to buy this truck and um, do it up in some cool mod and basically now he needs to free up a bit of money for that place so this is actually for sale and i think colin how much is this truck four and a half grand is it something like that it's it's not a bad price because it's got a very decent mileage it's never been welded it does need a a little bit of welding but in fact that steering wheel that is actually quite a bit similar to the steering wheel in my uh, Mazda 323, if you've seen some of my earlier stuff. But anyway, that's a very nice truck. Um, I'm not really a truck man, but I really do uh, have a bit of fondness for that. I think it's a nice little relic of the 90s. Anyway, let's go and take a look inside here and see what is going on. <laughs> okay, so we've got a golf that has been in here for quite a while. I think he's uh, working on this for a friend of his, but again, this is how I love to see cars when, obviously for my channel and I, I make videos about all these old rotten cars, but when they're on their sides and I find them upside down and things, you get a real feel for obviously how rot sets in. And you can see that this has got a fair few holes in it, unfortunately. I think he's been working on this for quite a while. This is sort of a, a project that sits in the corner kind of car, but we've got a T4 over here that has been painted and is gonna get sanded down and I assume have a conversion put in it, make it as a camper, if it wasn't already a camper. And then what have we got over here? Now look at that, isn't that cool? So this is an early Capri, but it only has 3000 miles on it but look at the condition of it. It's been rust um, uh, acid dipped. And so now you can see all the rust. And isn't that so frilly? There's gonna be quite a lot of welding to do on there, but it has lived in a barn basically its whole life, but it's been a damp barn, which has caused it to rot out like that. But I really wanted to show you this because again, as I said a minute ago, I find these cars in fields outside dead all the time, but actually seeing them like this, when once they've been stripped off and everything cleaned, gives you a real idea of how much nature can set in and take them back. Because, you know, I'll see these and I'll go, oh, I can save that, I wanna save that. And then underneath, it would actually look like this. So that's why, although I want to buy and save as many as I can, I have to be really careful because imagine if I'd gone and bought something like this and then I'd found underneath that it needed this much welding and I don't have the skills to weld yet, but I'll get there. But yeah, so this still is gonna need a fair bit of welding and look at that. <laughs> that looks like it could just flake right off. Yeah, it pretty much does. That's a lovely car. Don't know what color. Do you know what color this is going for this done? Uh, Got to be like green or yellow. I, remember. I think it's a like teal. 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 So then, silver. Right. Okay. So yeah. I mean, I suppose those sort of colors were quite popular in the when's this sixties, seventies. Yeah. Well, eventually when that's done, that's gonna look very nice. As you can see. Very frilly. And then over here, being worked on at the moment, we have got two 
BMW, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. BMW iZetta bubble cars, now how cool are they? Cannot park them in front of a wall or easily parallel park them because they take up quite a bit more space when you've got the door open. But I love the mechanism of how they've invented that to have the steering wheel attached into the door so that you can climb in and out. And these, again, they've been sitting around for, I think about 30 odd years. Is that right, 30 years? Yeah. Look at these indicators too. Now, Jake told me that something went a little bit wrong at some point and he had to replace this filler cap along with a couple of other bits of chrome. It's 800 quid. So uh, despite not having many parts, I don't think they're cheap, but these have come up really nicely, these two. And look, little sunroofs. I actually do quite like these. I remember the first time that I saw a bubble car was actually an Isetta and it was at Bewley. And I remember I had a book and it had a picture of a guy lifting one up. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna try and lift that up. So I lifted up the front of it and it just rolled back into this Rolls Royce and I sort of had to run away. I was only a kid. <laughs> these got tiny little engines in these. They're not even a 600 cc they're like little motorbikes very cool though i wonder if that's the kind of car that you could drive on a uh, a motorbike license in fact it's got three wheels isn't it so 300, 300? Yeah. oh so 300 cc wow okay so basically i suppose it's like a robin reliant right yeah, reliant robin yeah so you could drive those at 16. Uh, potentially yeah hmm Mind you, I can't see many 16 year olds going out and buying those. <laughs> I think many 16 year olds can afford one. No. <laughs> and then, of course, no need to see what this old girl is, but. Mm, obviously, has been rather rotten at some point. Well, at this current point. Look at that. Holes in the floors. I've, I've found a few of these lying dead in fields, you know? But obviously, Jake has been spending a lot of time putting a lot of things back together. And I, he is actually a bit of a miracle worker in the sense that cars come in and they actually end up getting fixed, which is more than can be said for, I think, most of us who buy cars and they just stay bad forever. But yeah, look, he's done some welding there. Ah, oh, these are worth quite a lot now, aren't they? More than the T4s, you know, I was looking at buying a T4 recently. I thought, oh, I'll make loads of money on that. And you can get them for like 1,500 quid. It's a bit rotten in there. I imagine that's probably quite a common place for these to go all around here. But anyway, what I wanted to show you is this. This is Jake's Porsche. Now, I'm going to move these doors out the way very carefully, and I'll come back to this in a second. So, tucked away in the corner where it's been forgotten about, and it's not been forgotten about, but it is tucked away in the corner and it is getting a bit dusty, is Jake's Porsche 924, which he's owned for about seven years and it will eventually be back on the road, which is much nicer to see than all the ones that I go to that are just left to get killed by the rain in the field. Let's have a look in here. Ah, uh, now let's put a bit of light on. Okay, so this car is on. 20,806 miles and oh it smells so nice I don't think that's 120 I think that's genuine 20 it doesn't seem too worn like it could be 120 but what's down there I can see a hole in the floor though actually look straight through there there's the outside world so I wonder what's mm. look, it's a little bit a little bit crunchy on the sills. But he will be putting that back to uh, normal at some point. I hope he keeps it the same colour. It looks cool in red. But obviously red is prone to fading. I think it would look cool in yellow. I think everything looks good in yellow. Oh, look at these. I love these buttons as well. Very, very uh, 80s. I think this one is... is it, I mean, what red is this on? Is it 1980? I think he said it was. What's in the back? Uh, a reg. So, yeah, 1983. Hang on a minute. Or was it 1984? Yeah, 1984 was a reg. Oh. But again, proper 80s pop up headlights. 
think we all uh, can agree, why on earth did they ever get rid of them? Fantastic, bring them back. Bloody EU. Right, okay. <laughs> Let's go and take a look at the last car in the workshop. Okay, so the last thing here, inside the paint booth. I love these door handles, these are fantastic. I'm getting really tempted to pop those off. Um, it's this very nice, Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradale, which if you watch much YouTube and you know Rata Rossa is his car, and I like this a lot. There is a bit of a thing at the moment on whether or not they should paint it its original black or go for a little bit of a purple. Now, Scott's, I think they should go for purple. In fact, I think, no, they should go for yellow. Scott has been down here in his own time and stripped the interior of this Ferrari to bits, which is a great opportunity for me to show you. Oh, that they've been smashing the windows. It's a great opportunity for me to show you how much wiring is in here. This is loads. Now, I know obviously cars do have a lot of wiring, but this seems to just have far more than usual. And I like the, uh, the window mechanisms in there. They look like they're an absolute bugger to deal with. But anyway, don't know what's gonna happen on that. Maybe you should all leave a comment and say what color you think this should go. Now obviously it's some sort of a special edition and there will be purists who say this car needs to stay its original color. I don't know. I think it should just go something absolutely mental. Obviously Ferraris are red. I think that's kind of boring. It needs to be something like fluorescent lime green or yellow, something offensive. It's an offensive car and I, I absolutely love it. But yes, I remember I sat in this when it was still um, all in one piece and Scott had driven it to a show and it was a dog. <laughs> but that's what he does. He saves all these old Ferraris. So, you know, hats off to the bloke. Anyway, that is everything here. So let's go back outside okay well that is it for me for this week thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video remember that you can check out jake on instagram in the link that i will post below and if you want to see more of me please make sure that you do like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you again next week